Hello and welcome to Comment Comeback, the show where I go back to one of my older videos to look at some of the more uh, interesting comments. This time I'm going back to the Five Nights at Felix video. I'm sure the great. This game isn't very scary, however your avatar made me shit myself and cry for the rest of my life because it's so ugly and scary. I hate I hate everything has been going a bit crazy recently, this is another one of his gems. Pretty, I'm pretty sure he's serious as well. I think I've really offended him with one of the videos, it probably was this one, he's probably a huge Five Nights fan. I keep forgetting what it's called, Five Nights at uh, Featherstone? The fuck's it called? I don't like Five Nights at Fedlin, but I hate everything still sucks. Also, what's wrong with porn? I don't remember ever saying that anything was actually wrong with porn. I like briefly mentioned in like one sentence how weird I think the weird fan art stuff is. Like, I'll put some on the screen right now. I found these recently. They're fucking stupid and weird. Not really porn, but funny. In a lot of ways. It is scary. It is your opinion. Do you, do you remember when you were a kid and you did this sort of thing? Like when your friend said, Oh, I don't really like jammy dodges. They suck. You'd say something like, Well, I love jammy dodges. They're great. He's so insecure about his weird opinion about Five Nights at Freddy's that he he needs to comment a, a comment that justifies it for himself. It is scary. It is your opinion. Does he think I'm lying? Well, here's a video that you should make. It's called I Hate You, You Hate Too Much. Yeah, I'm gonna make that video. It's gonna be great. I Hate You, You Hate Too Much. I'm sure everyone's gonna click on it and love it and think it's the best. No, quickly, I'd just like to say that I think Five Nights at Fade Helm is just a terrible game and it sucks. Is that what it's called? I, I can't even remember anymore. Fine, if it is not scary, then try playing Five Nights at Felix. Three, bitch. I got a non-surprising amount of comments from people like this saying, Well, uh, if you don't like the first one, then try the second one. And if you don't like that that one, then try the third one. Because they're way better. It's the same with every other thing I've ever made a video about. If it's not, if it, like when I watched the first episode of My Little Pony and didn't like it, they were like, well, you just watched the wrong one. Go and find another one to watch. Well, look, the, what, what I've seen, what I've experienced, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the other ones. And, and just for the record, I've seen a lot of both the two and three, and they're both pretty much the same fucking thing. I'll get into it later in more detail and more relevant comments, but they're not much better. The I hate everything guy is a big fat chubby butt. What? Are you for real today? Like really is- I can't- is- is it- is this- I- I'm trying to work my magic here, I can't figure out if this is real or not. This- this is a real comment, I know, but is it- <clears throat> how how old are the people that use YouTube? How old are the people that experience Five Nights at Felton? What what? It, how, how are parents letting children onto YouTube? And like, why? I like IHG vids. Thank you. That's really kind and not asshole-ish like all the other comments. I appreciate it, Timothy. Thank you. Warning, scurious gimmin' years. Clickbait. Um, yeah, the title of this video is a direct steal from, you guessed it, the number one search result when you search for Five Nights at Freddy's. It's one of Markiplier's videos, but I wanted to steal the title because it's really funny, a really funny idea. Uh, more so because his title was Warning, scariest game in years, everybody. Five Nights at Freddy's. And I thought, wait a minute. I could get everyone to click on the video if I say, Warning, least scary game in years. And people see it and they'll think, Oh, it's the Markiplier video. I'm going to click on Oh, what is this? Uh-oh. I don't like this one bit. It's a big, horrible, s bad move from me. But no, it's not bad mood. Mood? Move, I mean. What was happening today? You're a pussy if you're not scared of Five Nights. Five Nights of what? Five Nights of Ferdinand? This really is backwards logic. You're a pussy if you're not scared. So he's saying that if you are scared of it, then that makes you not a pussy. Look at this picture. Is it, you're a pussy if you're not scared of this, everybody. Oh, I forgot something. Question, IHE. Have you tried the two other two games? Five Nights... For Dia 2 and 3. Okay, I'm gonna admit something here. I haven't played the second or third one. 
but I've watched Markiplier play all the way through with both of them. Because I was hearing, reading all the comments, oh, yeah, the game's pretty terrible, but you know what, the, the backstory's really interesting and really well written and stuff, no. <clears throat> so I was like, okay, this... If it, if it is all about the backstory, then I might as well watch him play it, because I'm certainly not going to get any fun out of playing it myself, so let's have a look at this. By the end of it, even Markiplier was sick of it. You could tell. You could tell by the look on his face. Okay, I'm just going to put this out there. You don't have to agree with me or whatever, but the story, the backstory, is fucking atrocious. People say it's purposefully vague and non-existent, so you have to sort of search for it and come up with theories for yourself. That's horseshit. That is fucking horseshit. That's the Destiny style of telling a story. It's so clear to me that he's just hodgepodging this story together out of random shit that he hadn't really thought about, and it makes no sense. It makes no sense. You can try and explain it to me all you want, there'll be comments in this one later on still that try to explain it. Guess what? It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It It's just completely incoherent dribble. Nonsense. You might not like to hear that, but... Wasted opportunity is what this game is. Wasted opportunity. You know what they're making? The, they're making the movie, aren't they? They just the, there was the news story the other day. You know what? This idea would work much better as a movie. You can actually put that to the test. You can put the lore and story to the test. Prove that it works. But it's probably going to suck just as much. I could care less about this video, but the only thing is when he brought up how to train your dragon. You bard, do not bring that movie into this. I don't appreciate you making fun of a damn good movie. Sorry, but hey, that's what I hate about this video. I mentioned how to- look, I, I did mention How to Train Your Dragon in a completely offhand remark, which was making fun of the phone guy's voice, because I thought it sounded like the main character of How to Train Your Dragon. That was the joke. I didn't say anything about the movie. In fact, I like the movies a lot. So you take your comment back, you- Oh, I'm Hiccup. <laughs> That was an awful impression, but you get the idea. Here's a good one. I hate this channel. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh, but... oh, zero twenty. Freddy's. Okay, I'm gonna admit something else here. I did. I spelt Freddy's wrong. Okay, I spelt the name which can be spelt a number of different ways. I spelled it wrong in the video. Luckily, about five minutes into uploading it, everyone started commenting it, so I was like, oh, quick, change the title so I don't look like even more of an idiot, so it only looks like I got it wrong once. So, in the video, I spelled it wrong. I, I spelled it I-E-S instead of Y-S. My mistake. You don't need to keep correcting me. Have you ever even played the games? It's a lot scarier if you play then to watch someone else play. I feel that you should play these games, maybe for the channel. First off, I'm not going to play these games specially for the channel. Because one, I think they're rubbish. And two, I did play the first one and I thought it was rubbish. And quite frankly, I don't feel like I need to play them. Because they look frustrating and are frustrating. Needlessly so. You can say it's challenging or that's what... The fun comes from or whatever, but I don't care. Now this is interesting. This video made me angry. He shouldn't say all these rude stuff about our fan art. Oh, good old Google Plus. Shared to the Five Nights at Third Fan Club thing. So they found the video. They went to their Google Plus Five Nights at Fodor group, and they put this comment to try and rile everyone up. Why am I getting flashbacks to the Deviant Art video, which was equally stupid? In fact, I think this one is even more stupid, because it's just about Five Nights at Fievel. Speaking of, in the same group on Google Plus. <laughs> so basically, this guy hates everything? His account, his life, hates God? Idiot. Um. Well, let me explain, okay? Mangle the MLG No Scope or Fox. Funny name. Funny name all day long. Shared to the Five Nights at Fernando Club. Clearly a child, 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 clearly a child. Well, this is a long one. A really long one. A little bit like my huge, massive, veiny, Purple nipples. Here is an answer to all your questions. Why do the doors drain power? 
because they work on a power system and also as a challenge for us gamers. How does Phone Guy know about the animatronics moving? Because all the employees know about it, they are told by a manager or boss. Why doesn't anybody do anything about it? Because the animatronics run on a free roaming mode, and if they stay off for too long, their servos might lock up, <gasps> causing them to never be able to turn on and entertain kids. Oh no! This is proof that not only horror fans just accept the most bullshit, trite explanations imaginable, but it also proves that you don't need to explain shit. <laughs> or if you want to come up with an explanation to your weird horror story, people are just going to accept anything, what you tell them, even if it makes no sense. Because the animatronics run on a free roaming mode. D do you not realize how stupid this is? This is literally the stupidest thing I've ever read in my entire life. So, you, so, you, so you're telling me, this is, this is the story of Five Nights at Freddy's. There's this place called Five Nights at Fielding, or whatever it's called. It's a place where kids go to, for entertainment, for fun, for food, for whatever they do there. And there are, there, there are four or five creepy animatronics that are programmed to constantly walk around and, and just roam. Because if they don't, if they're not allowed to walk around by themselves, they will lock up and will break. Never mind the fact that this is more advanced technology than what we even have now to be able to work, unless maybe you're in Japan somewhere, and even then, then they're not like this. But then on top of that, you're also adding on to the fact that didn't one of them like kill a kid or something or bite someone as well? So it's also proven that in this universe they've attacked people before, and yet they're still they're still there. They're still a thing. Fuck this game. I hate how everyone judges Five Nights at Freddy's based on how fucking scary it is. Bottom line, it's not really scary, nor was it meant to be. By Five Nights at Freddy's 2, it wasn't about the game per se, it was about the complicated backstory to it all, and Scott hinted this a few times. So I find it pretty fucking stupid when people don't even bother looking deeper into the story, and just shit on it when they take a quick glance. The game itself isn't too bad, but I wouldn't call it a horror game. No doubt it's a strategy game with a creepy background. That's all. But yes, the OC is fucking horrid and the pound is horrid, but that's usually not. Oh, 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 you living pie, you have a lot to learn, my friend. Look, you can like the game and the universe and everything all you want, but there's no ignoring the fact this is a fucking horror game, full stop. The only reason it got any traction, the only reason anyone found out about it in the first place is because it is a horror game and they're so freaking popular on the internet. And when you start delving into points like, by Five Nights at Freddy's 2, it's not about the game, per se. Doesn't that prove in and of itself how fucking flawed it is? That he has to hide these little pieces here and there to try and get you to forget about the game. It's, it's purposefully distracting you from the game itself, which proves how fucking broken they are, how stupid they are. And the story being complicated, that's also just not, it's not true. You actually need to be given the basics to be able to understand what story is. And there's none of that in Five Nights at Freddy's. So you're telling me that to find out what happens, you need to purposefully click like random panels on the wall, go into this weird little mini game that you purposefully have to glitch, that you have to exploit to find a glitch, to go into like another hidden mini game where it shows a weird cryptic message about something. No. <laughs> Keep your opinion to yourself, he says. What? What is this comment? What, do you realize that this, what this comment is? I agree, stop making videos, no one cares. Plus, if you continue, I delete you channel. Oh, I better beat him to the punch. Sorry guys, gonna delete the channel now, see ya. This comment chain was entertaining. I really love Google+. Plus. It's just created things like this. Wonderful things like this. Guys, let's attack this fucking hater. Yeah, fuck him up. Hurt him. Remember to dislike and comment. And so on, and so forth, and, and so on, and, and so forth, and so on, and so forth. I can't believe they spent the time doing this. It's, it's fucking pathetic. I just wish you went more into it. So do I. Problem is, there is nothing to Five Nights at Fillmore. I will eat your head, break all your bones by stepping on you, shove an endoskeleton up your ass and stuff you inside a suit, then shit your head everywhere. Thanks for the comment, Freddy. <laughs> I, I wonder if he's a little child. I wonder if he's a, I wonder if he's a little child. 
Uh oh, don't shove an endoskeleton up my ass. Fucking people, I swear to Christ. <laughs> I can't wait to have a comment comeback on a comment comeback because of this video, because it's gonna happen. Because the, the Five Nights at Freddy's fan base, just, they're unreal. They're fucking unreal. I've never seen anything like this before. Like, I've seen bad comments. I have seen some terrible comments, but this shit, it's so telling of, of, of the audience of, this, of these games. Like, I'm not saying that everyone who likes it or enjoys it are necessarily all ten-year-old morons. I'm just saying a large amount of them are. I just realized I didn't choose one as the assholic comment of the episode, but you know what? I don't need to, because they're all assholic bitches and comments. Apart from the one or two that were nice or, or impartial to having a strong thing either way. Also, I just want to add one last thing and say, fuck Five Nights at Finbar. It, it sucks. Seriously, what did you think of that one then? All those great, 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 great comments. Don't they just warm your cold? mechanical endoskeleton heart. What were your favorite comments and what were your least favorite ones? Tell me in the comments below. Too many comments in that sentence. So as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. So make sure you check out my other videos, my other comment comebacks and other craziness and my other channel, Jar Media, for more content and stuff or whatever. I'll see you next time. Bye. Five Nights at Freddy's. The game is a freaking mess, the writing makes no, it makes no freaking sense, Five Nights at Freddy's, the fan art makes me cringe, Five Nights at Freddy's, why can't you go away?